And now for more insight on the joint China-Russia naval drill, we are joined in the studio by my colleague Hona. Good evening, Hona. Evening, Zhou Yue. Uh, this is, of course, the first joint naval drill between China and Russia. Uh, tell us, how significant is that? Well, apparently it was decided upon last August at the first such drill between China and Russia it will focus on maritime defense and protection. And the focus will be on traditional military security rather than counterterrorism. Friendly military to military cooperation is an important aspect of the China Russia strategic partnership. And according to Chen Bingde, chief of the general staff of the People's Liberation Army, the drill will be the first in a number of such moves by the two countries' navies. And this time around, China has committed 16 vessels, including destroyers, frigates, support, and hospital ships. And they will be joined by four warships from Russian Pacific Fleet, as well as support vessels, warplanes, helicopters, and naval infantry. And the draw will strengthen the naval forces' ability to jointly confront new regional threats and demonstrate their confidence in maintaining global peace and stability. So, yeah. Uh, we know the upcoming drill is the first such move by the two countries' navies, mm -hmm. but as far as we know, China and Russia have actually conducted several military exercises on land recent years and over uh, the air. Can you give us more details on that? Well, since 2005, China and Russia have conducted several joint military exercises within a framework of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. And the first ever Chinese-Russian joint military exercises, codenamed Peace Mission 2005, launched on August the 18th, 2005. And the aim of the drill was, was to st help strengthen the capability of the two armed forces to strike against international terrorism. And the eight-day exercise involved nearly 10,000 troops from China Chinese and Russian. And the most uh, important, uh, the most recent such exercise kick off on July the 22nd, 2009, under the codename Peace Mission 2009. And about 1,300 personnel from the Army and Air Forces of each side participated in the five day exercises. And Peace Mission 2012 will be held in Druin in Tajikistan. Back to you, Zhou Yue. All right.